Uh, hey guys, uh, my name is Samuel Sutton. I'm from Marion County and I'm one of this year's 4-H 2020-2021 uh, state ambassadors. And today I have with us my uncle Jeffrey Fikes. He works at uh, Fike Chevrolet in Hamilton, Alabama in Marion County. Um, Jeffrey, today I have a few questions for you. Um, so what was your major in college? My major in college was electrical engineering. Okay, what um, what drove you to pursue this career? F family. Uh, my father had been in the car business since the mid-60s, starting out as a salesperson and then later on ended up a uh, half owner in, a, in the local Ford dealership for a couple of years and then and then uh, when I was in the 11th grade, I think is when it was, or uh, we switched over and ended up in the Chevrolet business. So I had to eat a lot of crow there for a while. And um, so, of course, I, he, I was the first uh, in our family to go to college. And so I went off to school and then uh, he had asked me when uh, I got out, you know, if I would come back and help. And uh, I said, yes. And so, um, uh, the folks that uh, that I went to work with had paid for a moving van and paid all my expenses. And I'd worked in Huntsville for three months. And uh, and then when I moved back, I came back in a pickup. And uh, so anyway, I came back and uh, I've been that was in January of 1981. And I've been here ever since. So it was really just a family deal. Um, what, what's a what's a typical day like on your job? apparently fairly haphazard based on me this morning, but, uh, um, you know, generally speaking, I get there, I'm an early guy. I like to get up early and I like to be at work early. And, uh, so I go over and, uh, actually the, some of the other managers in particular, the service manager will open up the place and, but I come in and finish opening it up. And, uh, and then we, uh, uh, you know, at, everybody comes into work we get cranked up about 7 30 and it's just mostly you know got to check emails and uh, just going around to make sure that everybody's you know got the tools they need to do their job and to uh you know to you know check on the progress of the sales department and check on the progress of the service department and if we've got problems or issues we talk about that kind of stuff and it's you know, I do a lot of what they call, I guess, management by walking around where you just go around from department to department and look at things. You know, they say you can't ex expect what you don't inspect. So it's just, uh, you know, you take it as you go. And we've got we're blessed with some good managers that take pretty good care of their departments. And so uh, and of course, I work, you know, that uh, my brother works there, John Fikes, and then Jay Fikes works there also, my son. So it's a sort of a family deal. Um, so what would you say the, the best thing about your job is? The best thing about my job? Well, at this stage, you know, I'm coming up on 40 years being there. And I do have the flexibility. I don't have to stay put. So I would say if I, I have the, you know, if I can arrange it where I don't think anything's going to go sideways or something, I can not have to be at the dealership the whole day. So if I need to go take care of something or fool with a hobby item or something like that, then I have the flexibility to go do that type thing. So I guess that's the best thing. And uh, as far as just, uh, you know, at this stage, I'm going to say that's not always been the case. Um, what skills do you think are most important for someone in your kind of job work? Uh, I, I mean, you've got to be some kind of a people person. Um, uh, you know, if you're, if you're managing folks and everybody's trying to work together and, you know, the definition of management's accompanying results through the efforts of others, then, you know, then you've got to be able to talk to people and, and, you know, we got, you know, we're not a huge operation, but, you know, everybody has, issues and problems and sometimes they're work related sometimes they're family related but uh 
you know, I try to know a little bit about everybody's, uh, you know, family situation and, you know, things that are going on in their life so that you, you know, that folks know that you care, you know, and, and uh, we're sort of like a big family at work. We're not just a, you know, we're not, uh, we're results driven, I guess, where that's how we survive, I guess that you could say. But the other side of that is we do, you know, try to look at the big picture when folks are having troubles or family issues or, you know, we cry with those that are crying and celebrate with those that celebrate. And, uh, but I would say people skills and, uh, and a lot of that, you know, comes with time. Uh, uh, you know, it, I can, I can think of things I can probably count on my fingers, some things I have said to people in the past that came out wrong, uh, or was not appropriate or whatever. And you, you replay that junk over and over in your head. And over time, you, I think you do uh, gain a better ability to deal with people and have a positive outcome rather than, uh, you know, uh, making a bad situation worse sometimes. So I'd say people skills was the number one thing. Um, what impact has this job had on you? What effect has it had on me? It's made me an old person. <laughs> so, uh, it's been you know the car business is uh, it's not what it used to be I'll put it like that uh, you know when I came back in 1980 the level of automation uh, how many things that you did that were on a computer were far less I mean I started out uh, you know our communication uh, back at that time was based on cassette tapes and nobody can hardly is old enough to remember any of that kind of stuff the pc did not exist and so uh, all that has changed now the question was how it affected me was this how it affected me yes what was the question okay so you've had to you know i was sort of a good you know Sit with my background in electronics and that type of thing, I really embraced the electrical side and the communications and all that. So we tried to advance through that through, through those things as fast as we could. But you know, I guess you know I, who I am today. I guess is the sum result of forty years of working there, or whatever. And hopefully, I've got some more years to go. It's been a growing experience the whole time. Uh, I've played a lot of different roles. I during my you know, in my teenage years, I worked in in the parts department. I worked in the body shop. I worked in cleanup, uh, you know, and then later on, I was sort of like, I guess, a sales manager and still sort of in that role to some extent, but, but more than that. And so, you know, I've had to do hiring and I've had to do firing. And so, you know, all that stuff is a learning, you know, it's OJT on the job training and you just have to, uh, sometimes the stuff's a lot of fun. Sometimes the stuff is pretty painful, uh, but it, it's just part of the job. So, uh, I mean, I, you know, I don't know, whatever I am today, I guess I'm the sum result of everything I've been through in the last 40 years. I don't know if that answered the question or not, but I've yeah. tried. <laughs> um, is there anything you had wished you had known when you had started your career? Well, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty, so you don't know. You know, I, I, you know, I did leave what my education was in in engineering. Um, I do think that the the college the college was worth a lot as far as working toward a goal. You know, being willing to work hard to make good grades. Um, all that kind of stuff. I really didn't get to apply much of that. I'm talking about the, the overall part of it, I guess. It's sort of like going to kindergarten, learning to line up and be quiet and do certain things at certain times. I guess all that was part of it. But, um, but you know, I'm saying it's it, looking back, I you know, sometimes I say, well, what would have happened if I'd have stayed in engineering, you know, versus being in the car business? And, I, you know, who knows what would have happened. Uh, but, uh, 
I really don't, I don't know if there's anything I wish I had known. A lot of the stuff has just evolved over time and the world has changed and the, the corporations have changed. They're not what they used to be. Um, you know, it was a lot more globalization and it's just a different deal. They've, uh, the, the ability, the, all of the automation and the uh, uh, computerization of so much data has enabled large corporations to have a lot more control down to the to the minutia level of what goes on. So it's it's um, not as much fun as I said earlier, but it's it's been a it's been a good ride, and you know I've we've made a good living, and we've uh, uh, you know we've had some fun along the way. So I don't guess there's anything I that, that I'd look back and say I probably wish I had known. I, the only thing is you only you second guess yourself sometimes later in life as to what you did or didn't do. Um, we're at our last question. So um, is there any advice you would give a youth that would be interested in your kind of job work? Uh, you need to be a people person. Um, uh, as far as uh, life, skills uh you got to be able to got to be willing to work hard you got to be able willing to to get up you know you got to get up dress up and show up you know that's the first thing uh unfortunately we see folks i hate to say this but you do see some younger folks today that have a little difficulty with that so i mean being on being at at work and with a you know, and of course, attitude can't be quantified, but uh, having a work ethic that you want to come in. And I do believe that we still live in a country that if you work hard, that you can be rewarded for that. And uh, uh, the car business is not uh, going away. It is changing. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities. A lot of times, the one thing that's good about the car business is it does not require a college degree in most instances. Uh, a person that's willing to work and try hard can, can get an entry level job at a dealership uh, and move up. And I've seen it time and time again uh, at our place and I've seen it at other dealerships. Another thing that uh, is in tremendous demand are uh, highly skilled automotive technicians. Um, if, 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 a, if a guy or a gal is willing to take some basic technical training and, uh, and it's out there, different manufacturers offer this training, uh, I think that they, can, that, that they are in high demand. You cannot hardly find technicians. It's a struggle. Uh, they, can, they can work five days a week in the daytime. It's not shift work generally, so you can be off on the weekends and at night and be home to your family and make really good money and good benefits. So I, I, that's one thing that uh, I really feel like that uh, technical training could really lead to some good careers in this country. Uh, don't have to be a rocket scientist or a, a doctor or lawyer to make a good living. There's lots of technical skills that are needed desperately in this country. So that's my suggestion is try to get some type of uh, technical education or get your foot in the door. If you get your foot in the door and you do a good job, you'll be okay. Uh, that concludes our interview today. Uh, thank you, Uncle Jeffrey, for allowing us to interview you and taking time to be interviewed. You're certainly welcome, and I uh, uh, wish you good luck in the future in, in this endeavor and in 4-H. Uh, uh, I've enjoyed being interviewed, and if you ever need me again, give me a holler.